Hello everyone, I'm John Stroop. Today, I will be talking about the experiment that I conducted in 1935 for my PhD thesis. This is now known as the Stroop test. The aim of this experiment was to demonstrate the effect of a distraction on the reaction time of a task. Here's a short clip of how I amazingly conducted the experiment. For this first task, I want you to just read the words that are written on the sheet of paper. Red, yellow, blue, purple, white, orange, black, red, white, orange, green, and pink. So now I want you to read the colors of the words that are written on here. Orange, purple, green, blue, red, pink, black, yellow, red. I want you to read the colors of the words and not the word itself, so just the colors. Blue, red, orange, purple, yellow, black, pink, orange. Yellow, whoa, uh, blue, red, uh, green, purple, yellow, black, pink, red, brown. So let me explain to you how the test worked. As you saw, the test consisted of three stimuli. A neutral stimuli, a congruent stimuli, and an incongruent stimuli. The neutral stimuli that I presented was when the words were written in a plain black color and the participants were asked to simply read the words. The congruent stimuli was when the words were written in their own colors and the participants were asked to determine the color of the words. And the incongruent stimuli was when the word was written in a color that didn't match its name and the participants were asked to determine the color of the word. From this test, I found that the reaction time was much longer for the incongruent stimuli and participants made many more mistakes than they made in the neutral or congruent stimuli. This is what I proudly call the Stroop effect. Hey everyone, my name is Charles Erickson, and in 1974, I conducted the Erickson Flanker Task. Here is a quick clip of participants doing a modern version of the task. So what is the flanker task all about? In a trial, their participants were presented with five letters at a time, and they were supposed to respond to the one in the middle. If they saw an X or a C, they would press the left key, and if they saw a V or a B, they would press the right key. The subjects were shown two types of stimuli. The irrelevant stimuli is where the letters were inconsistent, and the relevant stimuli where the letters were consistent. The test revealed that the responses are faster for the relevant stimuli than the irrelevant stimuli. The difference between the reaction times is called the Erickson effect or the Flanker effect. <laughs>